Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I'm happy to welcome you all back for another video. Actually, I'm absolutely thrilled. Last year in 2022, I uploaded a total of four videos, counting four. Not 14, not 40, not 400, but four. Let me close the door, my son's asleep and it's late. But anyway, so hey, I've already in this first month, will have uploaded 50% of the number of videos that I did last year. Woo, I'm cooking with gas. One moment, guys. But anyways, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at what this shave is about. After that last video, um, those of you that did comment on my pay on, on the video, thank you. Thank all of you so much. Um, for every single subscriber that has stuck with me through the past year, a little bit more, thank you. Um, next video, I will give shout outs for the new subscribers because I could dumbass, I forgot to check and see who my new subscribers are. Um, but anyways, so, uh, better every shave is one. Welcome, better every shave. If I screwed it up, I'm sorry, dude. But anyways, um, but yes, thank you, all of you. And John Shaves 101, I want to thank you, too, because um, after uh, you saw the, uh, my last video, you dropped the video, and you went ahead, and you had mentioned my name, and, you know, told everybody, hey, go over to his channel, show some love. Um... That type of stuff is one of the reasons I fell in love with this hobby. Um, sometimes we forget those things when it comes to um, what we like about certain hobbies. Um, but just the support that this community has for one another in a lot of cases is just excellent. I mean, it could just be somebody, hey, here's a couple of packs of blades. Hey, here's a soap. Here's a razor. Here's a brush. Whatever. So, since this is gratitude shave, I'm going to be using things that I only have received from subscribers, whether those subscribers are still with me or whether they have moved on from my channel. Um, yeah. They, they thought enough of this channel to go ahead and send me some stuff in the past. So, let's go ahead and let's take a look. The razor, I can't have a shave without a razor, is uh, this. This is a 1930s Gillette, uh, British made Gillette New Long Comb. This isn't the original handle. It's from a later, it's a later ball end handle because it is solid. I mean, listen. That's solid. You go ahead and you tap one of these 30s new long combs or new short combs, tap this part of the handle onto it, and something ain't gonna, and it ain't gonna be good. And in case you're ever wondering how you know you have a 30s new long comb, well, of course that, and let me show you here. The new head, because it was the razor that ended up getting, in, getting Gillette into big trouble, because the slot here, sorry, I'm not trying to use my middle finger at you guys, no offense, but this slot here, um, this bl DE blades have been designed like this for decades. And, you know, the Broback blades were designed like this. Gillette said, hey, we'll do that. They made the, the new for, uh, the new new series of razors. And the guy that went ahead and ran the Broback company, he's like, yeah, my blades say patent pending. So Gillette ended up getting in big trouble. And the auto strop company ended up, because the guy that had the auto strop company is the guy that designed the Broback razor and Broback blades. And um, so, yeah, it was bad. But anyways, if you look on the inside of the cap, it's got that bar, Okay. Like, maybe in a tech, but if you look, it's got this here, this slot that goes across. And it curves down, so the bar 
just would set in the slot like so. Man, I put so much investment into the filming quality. <laughs> but anyways, that's how you tell a new version, like new long comb or new short comb. So, let me go ahead and let me slap the handle back on. Which is right here. So, I got this razor in a box with two other Gillette new long combs both American made. Um, ended up trading one with my friend Christian, who's also a subscriber. Um, traded him for a, what was it? Um, Parker 22R twist open. Um, Cause he really wanted a new long comb. So I said, hey dude, I'll tell you what. Um, you wanna trade? And he's like, yeah. So I was like, all right. So he got a new long comb, the other, or one of the American made versions, and the other American made version I have is uh, cased with the blade box, the original blade box, and one original blade. All right, so that's the razor. The brush I got from Dennis O'Drain, who has went ahead and, and, and sent me multiple boxes over the past few years. And he sent me in a box, in a really nice brush holder, this brush. This is a turn and shave, an older turn and shave before Milton start putting the coin in the bomb, as you can see. I believe this is his Bishop design. Synthetic knot, I don't know if it's a half moon or a full moon knot, not sure, or what the knot is, but it feels really good. And it's a really cool brush, feels really good in the handle. Absolutely love that brush. I was gonna bust out with the Wolf Whisker one, but I thought, nah, I haven't used a turn shave in a while. Um, the blade is a Voskot on its first use, which I got from my friend Christian. Which, the soap. Christian is one of my very early subscribers. Over the years, he's given me, um, you know, some items here and there and said here it'll help your channel well he gave me it's in one of these lovely little tins that some people are such a big fan of uh, not more people don't like them than like them beautiful oh, slightly cologne scent probably has some sandalwood in it and it is from the shaving company, if I remember correctly. It's from the shaving company. And I'm not sure if I have it the right way up, but it is lather and woods. Um, this was making its hmm, uh, rounds on YouTube. People using it. People really liked it. My friend Christian was, man, I got to go ahead and I got to get some of that and get two get two tins and send one to Lance. So Christian, thank you. Um, and from my brother Curtis, who is also a subscriber, my black and silver lather bowl. I have a matching black and silver um, horsehair brush that goes with this. Um, really, really like it. And down in the bottom, I don't know if you can see that lump underneath there. You might have seen DK Rodin's uh, over on uh, Robin, over on DK Dam Fine Shave, you might have seen him do a test of the Vanule menthol dots. She is looking for testers. I said I would test. I would be more willing to be a tester. So she sent me a couple with a sample of vanilla bean soap. So we'll be doing that in the next shave, the vanilla bean. But I figured, hey, great way to say thank you to everybody and to say thank you to Monica for allowing me to be a tester. Um, with this and, and those are basically just mentholated soap pucks, real small ones. So let's go ahead and let's wet the brush. But anyway, so yeah, um I've been working hard on trying to get myself straightened back out. Um and uh my sleep is still hit and miss um working on some coping skills for myself um uh if i get frustrated before i go ahead and and 
lash out. Um, I, uh, I shut my hole and count to 10. A couple of times, count it to 10 more than once. But, um, that or, you know, I'll just, I'll just flat walk away. I'll walk away and, you know, if it's me and my girlfriend, you know, if I get upset, um, I'll try not to say anything because, you know, the odd, odds are pretty strong that she, you know, she doesn't deserve my, me being angry, so to speak. So, anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut away, finish lathering this, which should be soon. Anyways, see you guys in a minute. Anyways, um, I wanted to get in here the other day and shave. Um, because it's what, the 22nd or 23rd of January, and my last shave was January 8th. Um, that one wasn't by, that one was actually by design. So I'm going to use some, I got from this, PAA, pre-shave cube, um, version 2. But I went ahead and kind of a request here because I shaved off my, you know, I'm not going with the goatee anymore because it's a bit of a pain in the butt for me to, oh, when I put it up there, I don't know, for me to line up. So, what I'm going to do is, per Madame Lee's request, Said, hey, why don't you grow a mustache, man? So I was like, I've been thinking about growing in, in a stash. So I said, look at that. Let me raise my hand. So, don't be dumb, Lee. You know what? I'll grow in a stash. So, I wanted to get a little bit of thickness going on on the upper lip. Um. And I thought about trimming it down, but there's quite a few guys out there and ladies. Let's not forget you ladies. Um, that just, well, that's been in, maybe interested in picking up a vintage razor, but not sure. Um, I've heard people say, ah, oh, nothing will shave you as good as a, as good as a modern double edge. The, you know, the, the workmanship's better, the, uh, what do you call it, the materials is better. This thing has been around for like 90 years. It's doing pretty good. I've got a couple of modern razors that, there's no way they're going to last that long. Oh, I might want to add soap, huh? I mean, lather, huh? So... Um, Chris Bailey, he made that mistake once. He got, went out, bought himself up a grip of vintage razors. Uh, early on in his shaving career, he was saying in a video once, and um, he's like, oh no, this, these, these don't work as well. And, And he went ahead and was sent a whole bunch from a gentleman named Don. Some vintage stuff, ABC, red tip, stuff like that. And Don's like, hey, just give him another try. He's like, okay. And he's like, hey, these things actually shave pretty good. The soap, 
leathers up very nicely. Um, dense, thick. Feels really, really good on the face. Um, Monica, she says in a Facebook post that, you know, she's got to make these menthol dots stronger. So, so far, I agree, but I've got, like, almost two weeks, or right around two weeks worth of growth on my face. This video is going to probably run long, guys, because, to be honest... I ain't been feeling this good during a shave and um, I ain't even started shaving yet. I'm feeling absolutely wonderful. There it goes. And um, I'm really, really wanting to get this shave in with you guys. So I'm probably going to be yapping at you guys a bit. Look at that. Just... Sliced it right down. Lost Cod Blade, first use, doing really, really well. So, every thing I want. The razor is. Doing really well. I imagine that's kind of gross in my bowl down there. But so how have you all been doing? Um, I hope you all are staying safe. Staying warm. I'm gonna loosen this top cap just a little bit. Have a little bit of whisker build up underneath. Gross, there's a lot of hair on my on my brush, on my razor. Oh boy, a lot of fur guys, a lot of fur. Hang on. But yeah. One, you ain't commenting on any of my videos in some time. So, if you ever come across this video, brother, thank you. I love this razor. Man, I've got whiskers sticking out from the bottom cap. Now, a straight razor would just whack right through it. One, did not send me any straight razors, because I wasn't using them at the time. I should be using my other hand, but
Look at that guy. <laughs> Gross. All right. Um. Ooh. Should bust it out with that Apollo slant. All right. All right. That's first pass. I'm gonna get cleaned on and go ahead and get ready for the second pass. All right, guys. Get a little bit of soap here. Brush feels really good. Uh, yeah, um, that new long comb. It struggled a little bit. It really did. Um, but I was taking down a couple weeks growth there. I wanted to put razor through its test, through a test, or you know, put it through its paces. And um, you know, the soap ain't real mentholated from the from the dots. But you know, hey, it's testing it. You know, Monica was just testing it. I'm testing it. DK Robin tested it. Um, it's a little cooler because I got a lot of the growth off. A lot of people test them, and, and you know, on Facebook they're like, ah, "Need to be colder," and she's like, "Okay." So, all right, here we go for pass number two. Yeah, across the growth should go through much easier now I did oh yeah it's going through much easier I did buzz my dome with the clippers because there ain't no way the leaf is even going to take down no two weeks growth Right there, that's what I want on that. Now, oh yeah, look at look at that, guys. Struggled through the first pass. But the second pass is just going through it like butter. Like butter, guys, like butter. I like butter. Butter's good. <laughs> yeah, I just... Also... Wanna... Thank you guys. Cause... You know, what I was going through, you know, I mean, this may sound weird, but uh, I was actually more honest. about what I was going through with you guys than I was my own 
brother, my own girlfriend, my own family members, and uh, especially with my girlfriend, because it's like, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe I just, you know, didn't want to let, you know, seem like I couldn't handle it with her. Um, and she has, she has her own issues, don't get me wrong, she has her own issues. Um, I was with a lady for 10 years before I was with Cindy, where, um, she had a rough childhood, um, piece of family members, and she developed some issues from it. And I was always at rock for her. When she was having a rough time, I was at rock. And I didn't feel so much like a rock going through what I was going through. I just wasn't feeling right. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off, come back for the third pass. Sorry about the sound of the wire, guys. You know what, guys? If I would have been shaving like a week's worth of growth, or even a few days worth of growth, I probably wouldn't have to go any further. I got quite a bit of whiskers up here. But I wouldn't have to go in some down on the chin and bum dip. A little on the neck. The neck's really clean. Um, two weeks worth of growth? No problem. Uh, you just got to take your time in that first pass. You just really, really do. Hey, maybe I'll sit there and, you know, maybe we'll start as YouTubers when we're having a rough time. Because, you know, if we can't talk to those we love, our girlfriends, wives, husbands, boyfriends, Brothers, sisters, moms, dads, close friends, all that. Yeah. Can't, can't work up the nerve to go see a therapist or a counselor because they, there's some that, you know, I've heard horror stories about the way some judge people. Um, but I take that with a grain of salt because maybe that person being judged um, just doesn't like what they're hearing, you know, maybe they're like, ah, uh, no, I can't be like that, um, uh, why is this person saying that, all right, against the growth, and then go on the neck, but maybe, who knows, maybe start some therapy shave sessions, I don't know, I'll think about that, because, Believe it or not, folks, um, I'm, 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 this, this right here, this right here, this shave, me talking to you guys, um, you know, knowing that, you know, the vast majority of you, whether you're a subscriber or whatever, I know that most likely, y'all ain't gonna judge me. Not unless I come back and say I'm like this horrible, horrible, horrible human being. You know. But, I'm not. <laughs> so, you know. But, I you know. Because, you know, I felt like I got a load off my chest last time. I know I didn't say a lot. But the main thing was I said something. And it's always, always the first step is saying something. 
admitting you have an issue like I'm, I'm doing. And kind of stretching that skin a little. And I pay with shaves. Uh, not that I'm cheap, it's just <laughs> this is the best medium. Anyways, um yeah. Yeah, it's really, really good. I'm very happy with that. Oh, missed a spot right there. Alright. Oops. The soap has plenty of slickness. I mean, very, very slick soap. I don't know if they still sell it or not. But if they do, it's pretty good soap. And if you don't like it being in a metal tin, pull it out and scoop it out and shove it down in a plastic tub. Just transfer the sticker maybe, I don't know. But anyways, alright guys. Um, not going to go anal on the shave. Anyways, I'll go ahead and rinse off. Be back for the alum. Hey guys, Razor Rock alum stick. Actually, not bad. Not bad. Ooh, a little bit right there. A little bit right there. Kicking my butt there on the neck. Ooh. A little bit down here. But, hey. Trying to go through two freaking weeks of growth with a Gillette new long comb. <laughs> Without trimming that crap down a little bit. It's actually a good night for me. It really, really is, guys. Um, and I'm so happy that you guys are joining me. It's really, really cool. Um, I am enjoying it. Oh, hang on. I ended up wiping a little bit of soap in my eye, man. That stuff burns. All right, guys, gonna go ahead, rinse off, or cut away, rinse off, shave the dome. I'll be back for the post. Hey, guys, anyways, you can see the melon's smooth. I achieved those results with my leaf triple blade razor from Leaf Shave. The face. We ended up going ahead and shaving it with from Juan Palma or Johnny as the also goes by. 1930s Gillette New Long Comb made in Britain. The handle is a solid brass handle, so it's a um it's um not the original handle that came with it, because the other one broke. The blade is a Voscott. On its first use. Great blade. Teflon called it. I believe made in the Czech Republic. Wonderful blade. The brush. Let's rinse that off real quick here. That way you can get a quick look at it. Alright. It is. This one. Turn and shave. Um, Bishop. I believe it is. The Bishop style. Um, with either a half moon or full moon synthetic or some synthetic, which I got from Dennis O'Drain. Thank you, Dennis. Once again, the bowl from my brother Curtis, black and silver. Love that lather bowl. Um, it had a um, vanule menthol dot puck in the bottom. Um, definitely needs to be cooler. But cool idea, very cool idea the way it works. 
the soap. Was the shave company Lather and Woods that I got from my friend Christian um, when he was living out there in Victorville? Beautiful scent. I took kind of a heavy scoop, but I'm a head shaver, so be it. Um, I've got so many damn soaps, so many soaps, but I love them all. Um, so, which is works for me because I go ahead and when I load. I love heavy anyways, so I go through soaps a little quicker than some. Um, so thank you, Christian. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, so thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing. If you come uh, by here regularly and see what I got going on, you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and uh, select all in the notifications under options for for the video for the videos anyways y'all take it easy likes comments subscriptions always appreciate it y'all have a good one um once again thank you everybody for supporting me through this last year y'all take it easy and i'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade bye bye now oh 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 no 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 bye bye now no, no, bye-bye now. Okay, we got to do the damn post, guys. So, anyways. My bad. T. Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Great stuff. I just used Simple Dollar Store Witch Hazel. Uh, not much of a difference, but... Dennis turned me on to the T. Dickinson's. I liked it. So, I was like, what the heck? Oh, uh, let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Let's, where is it? Where is the Arcadia? Arcadia Aftershave Balm from Sterling. Love this stuff. No, don't tell me I'm out. Almost. Ooh, run low. I've got some beard oil, which I'll go ahead and slap some in the stash when I'm done here. Arcadia Balm. Great smelling stuff. Dry my hands. And for the very very last gift bit. Let me find it. Oh yeah, the dark hideous by Sterling. Um, Uncle John's Finn Mickle aftershave. It's a witch hazel base. It just smells so awesome. I really like the scent. Feels good on the face. Doesn't burn because it's a witch hazel base. And it's got a little bit of sting, I guess, from the witch hazel. Because witch hazel, unless it's alcohol free, it's got a little bit of a sting. Ah. Let's go ahead and rub this on the shirt. That way it's got that smell. Anyways, guys, now that's the video. Everything I said before I said no, that's not the end of the video. Still applies when it comes to all of you and comments, likes, and subscriptions, all that stuff. Anyways, y'all take it easy, and now I will see you all on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.